What is up, you guys? Trey here, and welcome back to another Trey uh, cooking video. So, if you guys remember, I think it was number nine, Trey, uh, my ninth cooking video. I'm pretty sure. That are one of them. I did a pizza bread tutorial. Well, I have another recipe, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So it's pizza bread, but it's with a twist. So it, you'll you'll see a lot of the same ingredients used, but I add some stuff. I do some different stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Without further ado, here's the pizza breads. Alrighty, you guys. So the first thing that we have to do for this recipe. You're going to have to mind how dirty my oven is. I haven't had time to clean it, but we're just going to roll with it. So you're going to need La Rosa's hoagie rolls, or just some sort of like a uh, hoagie, but I'll show you. Like those, that's what I've got. I, I don't, I, I'll, I prefer the bottom ones, they're more flat and whatnot. But you're gonna need them. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your oven on, like broil, turn it all the way up, and you're gonna put. That's gonna take a minute because the oven has to heat up. But you're gonna put that in there, however many you've got, and you're gonna get them nice and toasted, nice and crispy. So I will be right back when that is done. So sorry, this was a short clip, but till then, peace. I missed it, huh? Alrighty, you guys. So the bread has been toasted. Go ahead and show you that. Like I said, you want to set it on broil. Okay, so. Let me. I have an idea. Oh, yeah. This might actually work. I'm going to. Maybe. How does that go? Yeah, that's alright, I guess. No. I'll figure out something else. Be right back. There we are. That works. It's small. Okay. I gotta get a paper towel from here. Cool. There we go. That works. So I'm gonna lay this here. And I'm gonna grab the bread. So the first thing you wanna do is get your pizza sauce. Well, after you've toasted it, get your pizza sauce. And get a nice layer of pizza sauce on it. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention is if you, when you have your oven on broil, stand next to it because I had to, this is actually the second piece of bread that I've used. The first one, I, to, like it was toasted fine, but it also, it cooks it more when you've got it in the oven as well. And sorry you guys can't see my face, but I figured you'd want to see the bread and stuff. Okay. Also, if you're wondering why this jar was already open, I made these the other night. And, that, and the recipe was good, so I decided to make a video with it. Okay, anyway. So the next thing that we need for the new recipe. Minced garlic. Do not put too much on because you will overload yourself with the taste of garlic and it won't be pretty. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's about what you want to put the rest of that back in there. I'm gonna shut you that real quick. 
that's about how much you want to put on. That is one of the bigger new things, honestly. What the freak? Oh god. This, there we go, that works. Just like so shut that. Okay, next thing. Your cheese. Also, you want to preheat your oven to 350. I forgot to mention that. But you want to do your cheese. I'm doing a little bit more cheese. Okay, so. Uh, Hormel just came out with this kind of pepperoni, and I'm using it because it, it makes it come out really, really good. You guys may not have this, and if not, just use regular pepperoni, but... So, I'm going to put that sauce away because there's still more in it, but... I have that. It's cup and crisp. So basically what it is, is the picture there. It crisps up like that, and it does, too. Oh no, the bag's ripped. Damn. Oh shoot. Three of them really don't fit on the pizza. Like on the roll. I, I was trying to put them like three across. I don't know. Sorry. I didn't mean to have that in your guys' way. But three across didn't really work. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And that. I'm going to scoop these back just a little bit more so I have room for that come on man stay on man just need you guys really and then, there we go perfect and then this is going to go across the top And that one's just going to get eaten. So when you're done, you want it to look like that. Obviously, you don't have to load up yours with as much pepperoni as I did. I just prefer it that way. And after that... God damn it. You want to put it in the oven on 350 for about eight minutes ish, and then And then after you put it in the oven for 8 minutes, you'll have to do something else, and I'm going to show you that. And after this 8 minutes is up, but until then, peace, you guys. Get in the pepperoni. Starting to curl up, you guys. Okay, you guys, so the 8 minutes is up. The timer just went off. So what you want to do is after the 8 minutes, you want to put it back on broil. And you want it all the way up. Cause you want to get that cheese nice and brown on the top. Alrighty you guys, and this is the result. Like I said, you may not be able to find that kind of pepperoni 
so you'll just have to like use a regular pepperoni and put you know and you can put whatever toppings you want want on it i would have liked for the cheese to be a little bit more brown but unfortunately the pepperoni as you can kind of see there started to burn a little bit so i had to take it out but overall that looks pretty damn good but um I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. If you want more, I will think of some more recipes, and I will definitely do more. But uh, other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tap that bell so you're notified every time we upload. And until next time, peace, you guys. Get in the pizza. to pray today but no one was listening